call attention to the fact that this statue holds in its hand what's called a treaty of annexation that annexed Hawaii to the United States. But there's no such thing. Mm. And I know that it's uh, continually being taught at McKinley High School because a couple of our people here are graduates from McKinley High School and have told us in the past that they are still being taught that McKinley High School, or President McKinley was the person who helped to annex Hawaii to the United States. That's not true. Um, so our point is really to call attention to truth. And to, if you look, See what we're doing is putting these little signs. Okay. They're on little wires that aren't going to do damage to the ground. Um, and we're going to probably have them up for about two hours. And I'm going to remove them. But all of the names that you see are names of people who signed a petition against annexation of Hawaii to the United States. We wanted to honor them. So that's why we're here today, to honor them. And we thought it would be a really good idea to honor them in front of McKinley so that if he were here and looking out, what he would see is a whole bunch of names of people who said, no, we don't want to be an annex to the United States. And because of them saying no, we were not annex to the United States. So that's why we're here today. Hello everyone, my name is Kaleo Farias. I'm uh, down here at the McKinley uh, High School today. Uh, supposedly, quote unquote, President's Day. Uh, yeah, today, Americans are uh, celebrating, you know, uh, you know, President's Day, but actually we're here today to uh, make a, a statement and to, uh, again, bring awareness uh, about the McKinley statue, that it's a huge, big, not only lie, but misrepresentation of who we are and our history, our people, and that there was no treaty of annexation. 1893 and 1898, it was, again, it was defeated, uh, you know, because of our ancestors. And I have one of my ancestors here right now, you know, that I'm holding. I'm here to honor my, my kapunas, you know, that signed the Kui petition that was against the treaty of annexation. And we're here to make a statement, again, to the world once again, you know, about our, about our situation here in Hawaii. So we have uh, about 600, uh, of uh, 600 signs with uh, ancestors of ours that have signed the Kui'e petition. Uh, again, those of you that don't know about the Kui'e petition, go on Google and type in Kui'e petition and you guys can read all about it. It's, it's all right there, right in front of you. And all we do is just provide facts and we, uh, uh, again, rely on everyone to make, uh, you know, their own conscious decision, you know, to stand up for the truth and stand up for justice and to stand up for what is Pono and what is right. And again, that is why I'm here today, because it's an honor, you know, to be able to, uh, again, be a part of my kapunas and our history and our, uh, and again, to continue, you know, that legacy that we are not American citizens and we are not the 50th state. That's right. We are not Americans and we are not the 50th state. We are a country that is illegally occupied by the United States Corporation, the military, the state is an extended arm of, the, of that military, and we are under martial law here. So those of you in China, Japan, Germany, other countries that we had treaties with, we ask you guys to assist us, support us, and make sure that we educate our people under their rights under international law. That the Hawaiians lost. The fact of the matter is no, they actually won. 1897, yeah, in the span of three months, they gathered something like 40,000 signatures. In the days before telephones, the days you had to go from island to island, from district to district on steamboats, and collect these signatures. With this, they defeated the annexation in 1897. Everybody thinks, oh, they lost. No, they didn't. These people won. It was because of their work and their patriotism that we actually are an independent nation today. You, people think that, okay, the United States annexed Hawaii. Well, I'm sorry, there's no treaty. If the United States thinks that, okay, Paris in the spring is nice, let's annex Paris. We'll make a joint resolution. We'll tell the French guys, haul down your French flags, put up American flags. You're now American territory. It doesn't work like that. American laws, you gotta have foreign guys agree to it. The United States took Hawaii 
unilaterally. There is no treaty. These people were successful. They won. There is no treaty. Your teachers, no offense, your teachers need to learn, learn more information and adjust their curriculum. And that's kind of what we're saying. Because I teach at the university level, when your students come to me, they don't know squat. And I think that's really, really sad. Uh, it's an indictment of the education system in public schools. 